Got you on me head. Right, morning folks. Welcome back. See you morning, Eric. It's Eric's, Eric's eyeing up the partridges. They're uh, French partridges. And I'll be in trouble with the gamekeeper because I'm scaring them. Um, that maze is looking pretty dead, isn't it? Almost ready for me to combine. Not. I don't think you'd be very happy if I combine those maize. That's the, that's the partridge and pheasant food. It'd be quite fun though, wouldn't it? Just to, to uh, put a maize header on the combine and have a quick go. So yeah, it's uh, Sunday morning, uh, 18th of October. I'm up at farm two in the Bateman RB26. And I'm spraying pre-emergent chemicals on the wheat that I drilled in the last video up at, yeah, on Thursday and Friday, I think I drilled it. 50 hectares where the spring beans were basically. I sprayed these spring beans with Roundup uh, seven days ago and they're still looking pretty green. They almost look as if they're growing back actually. Um, but we should be able to kill them with, with some herbicide. Um, yeah, so I am um, yeah, spraying this morning. I will be drilling again this afternoon at farm one. More wheat. I was drilling yesterday afternoon at farm one one wheat um, but I didn't video it uh, we're having a bit of trouble there with wet fields we've got at farm one we've got 83 hectares there to drill with wheat um, Simon has only managed to cultivate 32 hectares because he's having trouble it there's some some of the fields there's still water lead in them um, he hasn't even gone anywhere near those ones, but the ones that are half dry, he's tried cultivating them and it's just blocking up the the pack of roller on the cultivator. Um, so he's pretty much given up for now. Um, the, the rest, so we, like I said, uh, 83 hectares there. We will manage to drill 32 uh, this weekend, but if it doesn't dry up anymore, it will be left for spring wheat, I think. Um, you never know. Well, the weather forecast isn't looking very good for this week. Um, it's looking like rain Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And um, But you never know. We might get another dry spell in November. With an easterly wind. And we might well be able to... They might, the fields might dry up enough for us to get the rest of the wheat in. But we're doing a duck we're doing a lot better than we uh, were this time last year anyway. This time last year we hadn't planted anything. And uh, and now this year we've planted most of our winter crops. Uh, so we're not doing too badly. Not too bad. Um, and we're managing to get over the ground. Yeah, so I'm gonna do some dr more drilling this afternoon. I've got another 16 hectares to drill this afternoon, which I'll do a bit of videoing. So I'll probably catch up with you then. I've got you on head head cam because I forgot my window sucker is in the in the tractor. So yeah, I'm going to finish this spraying here this morning. These fields, Simon uh, rolled these fields yesterday, and they've had to have Avidex granules um, sprinkled onto them, so they're all good. The corners are a little bit wet, but it's just that the amount of rain we had at the beginning of the month um, is just not good really not good. I'm not sure what I already said but the two chemicals that I am spraying are Liberator and Stomp so they're they're pre-emergent herbicide that stick to the soil and kill uh, the weeds. I think the dog's fired. Eric, I'm gonna have to open the door. Mind you the spray probably doesn't smell any better. Bit of fresh air. You stink dog! Stink. Right, where's the tram line? I think I just drove past the tram line. Oh no, it's over there. Um, yeah. No, the spray doesn't smell too bad actually. It's not like uh, crystal. We're using pendimethalin, which is stomp, but it's not as bad as crystal. Crystal stinks. As some of you will know, what exactly what I'm going on about. No, I did miss the tram line. I'll go back down that one. That's a good thing about having the the auto shut off and the GPS, I can see if I've missed a tram line. The other chemical I'm spraying is Liberator, that's also a herbicide.
got a new battery now, so we should be alright for 10 minutes. Um, I thought we'd carry on as head cam as I started it off like that this morning when I was spraying. I got all the spraying done up at farm two and I brought the sprayer home. So yeah, I was going to show you these independent brakes. I've um, been using them really well actually because I managed to cut my headland down to 16 uh, meter headland because uh, the ground is so wet I didn't want to be turning the, the least amount of soil I turn on at the headland the better really but there's my 16 meter headland mark there you see that yellow one so I've gone over that I can now pull up lift up the drill I'm not sure how well you can see because it's getting dark and then I'll just step on the step on the independent brake which if you don't know the brake, brake split you can have one for the left wheel and one for the right wheel and then we go we drop the drill back down again I've made it a 16 uh, meter headland because then that's two times around the headland then with the drill quickly show you this again because um, for those of you that don't know what independent brakes are I think I rushed it a bit at the other end of the field um, so you see this pin I can take this pin out and use the brakes independently left wheel back left back right I'm gonna slow up now because we're coming to the end of the field again so I will we're going over that 16 meter head the mark look and now I'm gonna lift up the drill we'll turn the steering to the left it's getting a bit dark really. Stand on the left brake and we will turn right around all in 16 meters and then we'll resume our auto steer and drop the drill down. drilling uh, the variety of this wheat is Graham and we're drilling at 185 kilos per hectare I think I might have already explained this morning but at here at farm one we've got 83 hectares that we supposed to be putting into wheat but the fields are all too wet well Simon's cultivated 32 hectares which I'm just finishing that now the rest of it's too wet so too wet to cultivate uh, so we need to either wait till it dries up even more maybe in November you never know or it's gonna the rest of the fields here at farm one are gonna be spring wheat so it looks like we're gonna be taking the drill off this week and um, going to get my new hedge trimmer actually apparently the new hedge trimmer is in at, at Hunt Forest Group so I'll be going to pick that up so that's something to look forward to. Right, I'm almost done. Just coming to the end of the headland. I'm only going twice around the headland, so it doesn't take long to do that. And uh, this could be it, basically. Just wanted to tell you that I'm really pleased uh, with the new following harrows on the drill. Definitely worth changing those. They've made a massive difference. You know, it was only like there's only like 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters of difference between the old ones and the new ones, but it has made a massive difference. Um, you know, it's just a lot leveler behind the drill. You can't see, what I mean is before, you could see, sometimes see where the tractor tires were running, but now it, you can't see them, it's much more leveler. 
it's done a really good job so I'm not sure if you can see that there's a bit of a lump there must have uh, pulled a bit of straw and blocked up to the and then uh, when I picked up the drill at the end it dropped out just a bit of a blockage but this is it oh look at that that doesn't happen very often run out just well it's running out just in the perfect place I can actually see in my tank look I've got a camera in there you can just about see um, there's still quite a bit of seed in there to be honest there's probably still 150 probably 100 kilos in there so that's it we're done um, take that off tram line shut the fan off I had shut the seed rate down to 150 on my second time around the head then because most of it was overlap morning guys Monday morning it is and uh, back doing the same thing as I was yesterday morning spraying uh, pre-emergent I've just got to spray the wheat uh, seed beds at farm one I drilled these Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon, these two fields. And um, yeah, that's all I've got to do this morning is spray these. Right, let's go. We're on auto pressure. Turn that side off. We'll back up a little bit. And then get going. We'll get moving before we turn the spray on. Now we're away. So yeah, we're not rolling these seed beds. We'll probably roll them in the spring. It's just um, they're wet as it is, and they'll just go down like tarmac if we roll them. And then we forecast a load of rain on Wednesday. It's a shame we're not going to get more fields uh, drilled this week. Like I said previously, um, I've drilled 32 hectares out of the 83 at Farm One and um, that's all we had left of winter cropping so we might well get them done in November I think I've already said that three times in this video but you get the gist so this afternoon I'm gonna uh, take we're gonna take that 6130R back to hunt because we're not having that and then what else have I got to do I've got to, got to clean this sprayer out and I want to wash the booms as well with the steam cleaner because uh, it's got the booms have got this um, pendimethylene on them, the yellow stuff. So I want to pressure wash that off, which is the stomp. Because I don't think I've got to spray any more of that again now. And what else have I got to do? That'll probably be it for today. It takes a little while to wash out the sprayer. And it's got to cross over the track here. What? And then tomorrow uh, we're meeting the agronomist and I'm taking the drill off the tractor and cleaning, well, got to clean out the drill, take the drill off, clean up the tractor and then maybe Wednesday I'm going to go down to Hunts and pick up the hedge cutter basically. You might be wondering why I'm not doing that this afternoon when I'm going to Hunts but I'm going to two different depots so that's why. We have got a load of uh, TSP on order, which is phosphate, and I'll have to um, spread that on the fields. I'll do it this autumn if it doesn't get too wet. I'll obviously use the fertiliser spreader. If it gets too wet, I'll just do it in the spring when it dries up. Uh, but apart from that, I went so I go and get this hedge cutter. If it doesn't dry up again for drilling, the hedge cutter will be staying on for the winter. So, yeah. Cannot wait to get the new hedge drummer. 